Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my golden smoky eye tutorial, my fave look ever. First step, always prime. I'm using my Arbonne primer. As they say, it's a crime not to prime. I'm placing this all over my face. Oh my gosh, it is so silky. Yuck, I have a dirty pimple, too much chocolate. Brows, okay, I am using my Shape It Up brow pencil in medium. Check out my simple brow tutorial on how I do my brows, if you haven't already. Yay, they're all in place. Now my favorite part, oh God. <laughs> using the Prime and Proper Eye Primer, I am placing this all over the lid. It is so important to use an eye primer. It makes the eyeshadow last longer and have no creases. Then blending with my foundation brush. The Slate Eyeshadow by Arbonne as a setting powder and a base and placing it all over the lid. Then using Henna by Arbonne as my transition colour. I'm placing it in the crease to create some amazing contrast in colours. Then I am blending it with my all over the eye brush. This is making it very nice and soft and having no harsh lines. And it should look something like this. Then I'm going in with Solar Eyeshadow by Arbonne, using this in the corner of my eye. It is beautifully pigmented and has an amazing color. So I'm placing it on half of my lid also and under the eye like so. And then doing the exact same thing to the other eye. I'm darkening it up with the Onyx eyeshadow by Arbonne. I love this color. I'm creating a backwards V on my outer corner of my eye with my slant brush. This is a great step for people who aren't as confident with dark colors. Then I'm filling it in with the shading brush using the same colour. Then smoking it out under the eye and connecting it to the outer corner of my eyeshadow. Because it is such a dark colour, I will start with a little amount and gradually add more as I go. Then I'm going in and blending it with the all over the eye brush to give it a nice soft finish. Then I will do the exact same steps on the other eye. Then adding more of the solar eyeshadow on top to bring out the goldenness. Using the same eyeshadow as a base, I'm highlighting under my brow to add some light, then placing it in the inner corner of my eye to open it up. Using It's a Fine Line Pencil Eyeliner in Carbon, I am adding more depth to my shadow as I am placing a small amount on the top and the bottom lash line. Using Model Rock eyelashes to bring out my eyes as I have natural lashes. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, take two. Measure it out, then gently pressing it with my fingers. I think the biggest tip when it comes to lashes is practice makes perfect. I clearly need more practice. Then using the Long Story Mascara by Arbonne to blend my natural lashes in, 
I love, love this mascara, especially for fake lashes. I place it on both top and bottom of my lashes. Every time I poke myself in the eye, I swear. Using cream concealer in the color Light by Arbonne, I'm using my slant brush again to neaten up my eyeshadow. This is a crucial step when it comes to eyeshadow. And then onto the base of the face, using the same concealer, I'm going to cover a few imperfections with my slant brush. Any pimples, dark circles, and then blending it with my foundation brush. To add a flawless finish, I am going to use the Perfecting Liquid Foundation in Honey Beige. I only need one pump for my face and then using my foundation just to apply it. I'm finishing my face off with highlighting and contouring with my cream concealer. I'll go into more detail about highlighting and contouring in my tutorial to come. So watch this space for more information. Love that sheer glow highlighter. Then using the pressed powder in white. Then contouring it up with Arbonne's amazing bronzer. And adding colour with my favourite apricot blush. That's my flawless finish base. And of course, we need to have lips, which I will share with you in my next tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.